Hi, uh, my name is Akira Yasuhara at Waseda University. So I'm very happy to be here and I'd like to thank organizers for inviting me to speak here today. So uh, I'd like to talk about Aro Karukas for Welded Links. Uh, GC joint work with Jean Baptiste Mayon at the University of Grenoble Alpes. And uh, uh, today's result uh, included in this paper, which is already published. So here is abstract. Um, so we define arrow presentation, which is uh, very similar to calculus Gauss diagram. And uh, we also define W3 pre presentation, which can be seen as higher order Gauss diagram. And we study arrow calculus, which is an analog Habilo's class bar calculus for welded objects. Okay. Then let's start with introduction. So today we study only oriented diagram, uh, which means one dimension in two dimension. So uh, here, uh, we consider two kinds of uh, diagram. One is link diagram, other one is uh, string link diagram. So what is link diagram? Link diagram means uh, it must cross the cup with two kinds of uh, crossing. One is vertical crossings, other one is, is real crossing. GC is example of uh, two component uh, link diagram. So if there is no crossing, then we call it a trivial link diagram. So string link diagram means uh, it must act such that um, first component connect uh, first point on the top to uh, first point on the bottom. And the second component connect uh, second point on the top and uh, second point uh, on the uh, bottom and so on. So this is an uh, example of a two component string link diagram. So as well as link diagram case, so if there is no crossing, then we, we will it called a trivial link, a string link diagram and denote it by one N. Here, uh, where n is uh, the number of component, okay? If uh, a diagram has only a single component, we call it a not diagram. And uh, we can define product for string link diagrams as follows. For given uh, string link, uh, the product is defined by just uh, uh, defined by just st stacking of them, like this. So this product uh, give uh, string link diagrams a monoid structure. So uh, we, we often refer to classical object and virtual object and uh, uh, welded object. What is classical object? So classical object is uh, uh, the set of diagram with real, only real crossings up to Leidemeister move. And, and Leidemeister move is here, as you know. And uh, battle object means diagram with uh, real crossing uh, and uh, battle crossings up to Leidemeister moves and battle Leidemeister moves. Battle Leidemeister move is uh, the follow is the following uh, four moves. Okay. Then where did object means uh, diagram with real and battle crossings uh, up to Leidemeister move, virtual Leidemeister move, and OC move. So OC, stand, 
OC stand for uh, overcrossing commute. So here, this is over OC moves. So uh, this overcrossing, this overcrossing uh, move to this, this overcrossing move to this here. So this uh, this is overcrossing commute move. So we also uh, have undercrossing commute like this. But we don't allow, allow uh, this move. So this is a forbidden move. Okay. So here is Limak. So Gusarov Polyak video show that uh, uh, classical uh, classical object can be embedded uh, in virtual object, and uh, also classical object can be embedded in welded objects. So this implies that so in, st in study. Uh, in, sorry, in order to study classical object, uh, virtual object and uh, virtual object and welded object is very useful. So honestly, I prefer uh, welded object to virtual object. So uh, in this talk, our main object is only welded. I never consider. Uh, I will never consider about uh, virtual object today. Okay. Then what is purpose uh, of, uh, of my talk? So uh, it, uh, it is known that uh, Habilo's classical theory give very deep relation between classical object to and finite type invariant. Okay, so we we would like to give uh, to we would like to ha find some relation between welded object to and finite type invariant by using our class pass theory, which means our arrow calculus. So this is the purpose of this talk. And here we remark that so these finite definition of finite type invariant is slightly uh, different. Now for classical object, it, it is defined by using crossing change. And for welded object, it is defined by uh, virtualizing. Okay. Now we will define double tree and double arrow. Double tree for a diagram D means immersed invariant trees. So in this figure, uh, each red part is double tree, and black part is uh, a diagram D. So more precisely, uh, double tree satisfies the following condition. So around uh, trivalent vertices, orientation satisfies uh, the following condition. Uh, that is two in and one out, okay? And uh, each edge ha may have a uh, dot modulo two. So modulo two means if you have two dots, then they, uh, we can cancel of them, cancel them. And uh, uh, trivalent vertices are distinct from diagram and univalent vertices uh, are contained in diagram, but but uh, crossing. And and the all uh, intersection between edge and diagram, and edge and edge are vertical crossings. Okay, this is a definition of double tree. So uh, there is two kind of uh, univariant vertices. So. This type is called tail, and this type is called head. And uh, since we have this uh, orientation condition, so we note that uh, double tree con each double tree contains unique head. For example, here, uh, this has two tail and one head. 
sorry, three, three tail and one head. Uh, this, this has, this tree has uh, two tail and one head, and two, one head, tail and one head, okay? So each double tree contains unique heads, head. And uh, double K tree means double tree with K tails. So this is uh, double three, and this is double two, and this is double one. In particular, double one tree is call, called uh, double arrow. So this is definition of double arrow and double tree, and also double K tree. Okay, then uh, we will define surgery along double arrow. So surgery along double tree, will be defined after. So here we concentrate uh, double arrow. So surgery arrow, double arrow defined as follows. Uh, if you have a double arrow like this, then uh, tail part replace like this and head part uh, replace like this. And other part just parallel. Where uh, if you have dot, then just add vertical crossing. And if you have virtual crossing between edge and diagram, then after parallel, you also have virtual crossing. If you have uh, virtual crossing between edge and edge, after parallel, you have two virtual cross, uh, sorry, four virtual crossings. And in this, uh, def in this definition, uh, the important thing is, is the orientation of diagram attached by tail. We don't, we don't care about uh, uh, orientation of diagram attached by head. So here, it's, so go along uh, this diagram. Then first we meet virtual uh, crossing and next over, okay? Virtual and over, here also, uh, virtual and over. So in this definition, uh, the, this orientation is very important. Okay, now what is our presentation? So let D be a diagram and uh, V, uh, let V be a diagram without, without real crossing, which means V V has uh, only virtual crossings, and A is double arrows for V. Okay, and the set set the set uh, V A is arrow presentation for D. If uh, D is equivalent a diagram obtained from V by surgery along uh, A, so we denote it by. Uh, VA. Okay, this is definition. And, uh, and uh, we define uh, equivalence relation between arrow presentation. Uh, two arrow presentation, VA and V prime, A prime are equivalent. If uh, uh, these correspond, corresponding, uh, these result, uh, these corresponding diagram are equivalent as a virtual, virtual object. Okay, this is definition of equivalent of uh, our presentation. So we remark that any diagram has an arrow presentation because uh, each uh, real crossing can be deformed into this, like this, then this part can be replaced by arrow. So uh, we apply this deformation for every vertices. Then we have a vertical diagram without real crossing and uh, arrows, union of arrows, okay? Uh, for for uh, for given diagram D, so this presentation is 
uh, uniquely determined. So we call uh, this uh, arrow presentation is, uh, we call this arrow presentation uh, the canonical, canonical arrow presentation. Uh, here is the example. So this is diagram D. Then we have canonical arrow presentation like this. And uh, by the definition, this, this arrow presentation is also, uh, arrow pre this, this is also arrow presentation called D, okay? So this is the example of arrow presentation. So now, uh, Here, uh, there is natural question as follows. So for given two diagram, D and D prime, which are uh, equivalent, I mean, equivalent diagram, D and D prime, okay. Then we have uh, battle, uh, sorry, arrow presentation of D and arrow presentation of D prime, okay. By, by the definition of uh, equivalence of a present arrow presentation, these presentations are equal. We know that uh, this, this diagram is related by Leidemeister move, button Leidemeister move, and overcrossing commute move. But uh, actually, we would like to know here what kind of moves do we need? Okay, this is very, I believe that this is a very natural question. Okay, and here is the answer. Okay, uh, two battle, uh, sorry, two arrow presentation are equal if and only if they are related by the following six moves, zero to five. Okay, number zero move is uh, consists, consists of uh, battery right my sub move one, two, three. And uh, these moves, which means, uh, sorry, here, this vertical line is diagonal or three. And the red, this part, red part is, uh, uh, sorry, red part is three sorry, double arrow. And uh, this part is uh, either head or tail. Okay, anyway, so uh, this move is uh, just across, dot dot across uh, virtual crossing. And this, uh, this move, head or tail across virtual crossing. Okay, this is called the virtual isotopy. Next. Uh, so, if you if uh, double arrow attach like this, then we can change uh, the side of uh, attach, attaching part. Okay, and uh, if if you take change the uh, side of tail, then. Uh, yeah, you are, we are uh, dot. But uh, if you change uh, side of tail, then we we don't do nothing. Okay. This is sec uh, second. I mean, move one. Okay. And uh, move zero and one is corresponding to virtual right master move. Okay, these, these moves come from virtual ride master moves. Okay, now uh, move two, we call it tail exchange. So, which, mean, which means uh, if you have two tail, then uh, we can change uh, the, uh, I mean, place of two tails like this. This is, so that's why we call this tail, tail exchange move. So tail exchange move corresponding to overcrossing commute move. Okay. 
So this is very important for welded object. And uh, if you have uh, isolate double arrow like this, like this then we can uh, cancel. So we call it, it isolated move. And if you uh, have parallel double arrow, but uh, one is, uh, but the number of dot is different, module two, then uh, they are canceled. And we call it inverse move. And uh, here is, we call it, we, we call, here the next move we call uh, the slide move. So this is a little bit complicated. So let me explain uh, more. So here it is parallel, but the number of uh, cross uh, dot is different. This, and this is a uh, double arrow. And white, white dot means uh, nothing or one dot. So in this case, we can slide both uh, head along this double arrow, like this. Here, or slide, then we have this. Okay, this is called slide move. And uh, these three moves uh, corresponding to uh, Leidemeister move, one, two, three, respectively, okay? So uh, this is summary of uh, moves, okay? So theorem one means uh, two uh, arrow presentation are equal if and only if they are related by these uh, six moves. Okay, this is the answer. Uh, I, I, I give, I gave uh, here. This, yeah, this is the answer of this question. Okay. So we remark that uh, arrow presentation is very similar to Gauss diagram, but we don't need a sign while Gauss diagram needs sign. So, and dot, dot, mean, dot doesn't mean sign. And uh, arrow, arrow presentation is uh, rather topological object than Gauss diagram. So this is why we need move zero and one. Okay, zero and one is uh, here. Yeah, virtual isotopy and this uh, move. Okay, so what is uh, our advantage? So. As I explain, as, as I explain, uh, arrow presentation is very similar. Actually, it's corresponding to Gauss diagram, okay? Similar and corresponding to Gauss diagram. But we don't know uh, if there is higher order Gauss diagram, which is very important to study finite type invariant, okay? But, but in our case, we can generalize to higher order. So it's called double tree presentation. Yeah, we, I will define soon. Anyway, so uh, in, in our case, Gauss uh, what is the point? Uh, my point is uh, Gauss diagram, we don't know, uh, for the Gauss diagram, we don't know that if there is higher order uh, generalization, but uh, in our case, which means arrow presentation can be generalized higher order, which called uh, double tree presentation. So maybe uh, this can be regarded as a uh, higher order Gauss diagram. Okay. 
this is our advantage to use arrow die. Okay, let's get back to double tree. In order to define surgery along double tree, so we introduce uh, expansion of double tree. The definition is as follows. Uh, for given for given double tree, look at uh, the head. Then there is uh, two cases. One contains uh, no dot. Other one contains dot. So let me uh, explain the case uh, when there is no dot. So in this case, uh, the definition is as follows. So. So the, it, it can be defined by two steps, two step, two steps. First step is, just, is uh, take parallel of left part and right part. So here is parallel, parallels of left part. And here is parallels of right part. And the second step is, uh, is uh, to, to replace a head into whole head like this. Okay, this is definition. So the, the other case, uh, we can define similarly. And the first step is just same, taking parallel of le left part and right part. And the second step is different. So uh, we, we replace head of, head, this head into these uh, heads. Okay. And this is a definition of uh, uh, expansion. So we know that uh, expansion deform, deform a given uh, double tree into uh, four, four double trees, each of which has fewer number of tails than original one. So which means uh, by, deep, by, uh, by applying uh, expansion repeatedly, so for give, uh, given double tree can be deformed into several uh, union of double trees, okay. Uh, maybe you, uh, I guess you are not happy with this uh, definition because it looks very complicated. In particular, second step step is complicated. But uh, expansion of double tree is very similar to expansion of uh, expansion of commutator bracket. So let me explain more. Uh, here, here is a, uh, a way uh, to give a relation, re relation between uh, expansion of bracket and expansion of double tree. So we have, we, we need two, two, two rules, rules. First rule is if you put U and V, like label U and V like this, then Outgoing uh, for for outgoing edge, we we put label uh, commutator of VU bar, which means so where where uh, a commutator of AB means AB a, B, a bar B bar and X bar means X inverse. So so AB bracket means AB A inverse B inverse. Okay, and the second rule. Uh, if you put uh, label u just just before uh, dot, then after dot, the label uh, is changed into uh, its inverse. Okay. Now we apply this rule uh, in 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 this case. So first, put x and y like this. Then uh, label label of head uh, is X Y bar X uh, bracket of X Y bar, yeah. This is just apply uh, this rule. So on the other hand, uh, what what is uh, label of this? So here just X, 
then this is y bar. So this is x bar and y. So right hand side has a sequence label. And in fact, uh, this is just expansion of this bracket, C. Okay, then in this case, uh, expansion of uh, double tree is really same as uh, expand, expansion of this bracket. I mean, lab, bracket of label. Okay, then second case. So similarly, just uh, we put X and Y here, then this outgoing gauge has label X, Y bar, but we have dot here, then a label of head is inverse of X, Y inverse, okay? So which means uh, if you expand this, then we have Y bar X, Y X bar. So, and uh, look at this. So this really uh, corresponding to the label of this, uh, these uh, trees. So he, here Y bar and X, uh, Y and X bar, okay? Anyway, in both case, uh, expansion is uh, expansion of double tree is uh, similar to actually same as uh, expansion of uh, bracket commutator bracket. Okay. Moreover, uh, if you put labels on the tail tails, then uh, if you apply this rule. Then we have we have uh, labels label of the head, okay. So here is the example. So this this is for for this uh, for this uh, W three. Now apply uh, extension here. Then we have uh, G's for W three, okay. Uh, now we ex uh, we extend expand sorry we expand our uh, G's to uh, head then we have G's uh, arrows okay now let me apply this rule so first we consider uh, 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 we put the label A, B, C like this. Then uh, this label is A, B bar. This, and uh, here is C and after dot, the, this label C bar, which means uh, here, here, here is a bracket of A, B bar and this is C bar, which means this label is, is a bracket of A, B bar and sorry, A, B bar and C bar bar, which means A, B bar C, okay? And uh, if you expand, expand, uh, expand, expand uh, this bracket, then we have this, right? Then again, uh, expand this bracket, then we have this. And this uh, element is really uh, correspond correspond to uh, the sequence of sequence of labels of heads. <laughs> See, here is A, okay, and B bar, and A bar, and B, and so on. Okay. Okay. Then next. So now. Uh, we are ready to uh, define surgery along double tree. So let W be a double tree for a diagram D. D. Then a union of D and W can be uh, deformed into uh, diagram, uh, union of diagram and double arrow by using applying extend expansion repeatedly. So we already defined surgery along uh, double arrow. Okay, then we have DA. 
so here we this diagram uh, uh, sorry. so we call this diagram diagram a diagram obtained from d by sudden of w and denote it by dw okay so dw is defined by uh, da this is definition of surgery along D, W. Okay. So we remark that uh, surgery along W tree has Brunian property. So we will uh, explain uh, by using example, what is Brunian property. Uh, this is uh, same W tree as before. So we already seen that uh, this, this can be expanded uh, to these arrows. Okay. Then if you delete part C, then we have this uh, arrow presentation. Then let's see uh, these two parallel. So we can apply these two arrows uh, inverse uh move so uh, so by 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 applying i mean by applying e bus move we can delete these two then we have this so again now we can apply these two arrows uh we, we can apply in bus move these two two arrows then we have this so again uh, apply this to we have this and finally uh, apply this, there is no arrows. So it means if you, this example uh, means uh, imply that if you, uh, if you forget uh, some of uh, part in part in this, uh, some of part then uh, this arrow, surgery, surgery along double tree is nothing, nothing to, same as nothing to do. Okay, this is uh, what I mean, uh, Brunian property. Okay, so it is rather obvious to, con to, to consider as a bracket, I mean, label, label of head, sorry. So in this case, label of head, we already seen that this bracket, I mean, A, B, B, should I say, anyway, this one. Okay. And if you, uh, if you uh, delete C means, yeah, deleting C means uh, just replace C by trivial uh, element. In this case, one. So this element is uh, obviously trivial, okay. Okay. So now uh, we will define W3 presentation. Uh, let D be a diagram and V, uh, a diagram without real crossings, which means uh, V has only uh, V has only virtual crossing, and uh, let W be a double trees for this diagram V. Then uh, a pair V and W is said to be double tree presentation for D. If uh the corresponding uh i mean if uh a diagram uh, obtained from v surgery along w is equivalent to uh, this given diagram d as a welded object okay then uh and if uh, for two for two uh, W3 presentation is equal if uh, these corresponding di uh, diagram are uh, equal, equivalent as a welded object. This is equivalent 
uh, equivalence of double tree presentation. Okay. Okay, uh, we have theorem. The theorem two said that uh, if two double tree presentation are related by move zero to nine, then they are equivalent, which means uh, these moves uh, preserve classes of double, double pre tree presentations. Maybe we, we will notice that uh, moves zero to four are very similar to uh, those in theorem one. But big difference is that uh, theorem two may contain not only double arrow, but also double trees, while theorem one contain only double arrow. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let me explain uh, move from move zero. So move zero consists of virtual Leidemeister moves one, two, three, and uh, these three moves. Here, this, this uh, vertical line and this horizontal line uh, means a diagram, either diagram or edge of tree. So this figure means uh, dot can cross vertical crossing. And this figure means head or tail of double tree can cross vertical crossing. And this figure means that uh, <clears throat> Trivalent vertices of double tree can cross diagram over edge of tree. Here we remark that uh, double tree presentation doesn't contain real crossings. So this is why we don't need a uh, virtual light master move four here. Okay. Then next move one is, uh, is as following move. So this move means uh, uh, the position of uh, double tree head, not a position, sorry, attaching position, attaching position of double tree can be changed by, by adding dot. And this uh, move means attaching position of tail of double tree can be uh, changed, changed freely. I mean, with, without, uh, with nothing. So here is uh, move two. So this, this figure means uh, the position of tails of double tree can be changed, exchanged. So this is called uh, tail exchange move. So here we remark that these two tails uh, may, may be possibly be contained in same double tree. Okay. Now move three, it is called inverse. So here, here these are parallel double trees, uh, but uh, not the number of dot of head, head part are different. Then uh, these double, double trees can be canceled, okay? This is this is also uh, this this is also uh, same move. So parallel, but the number of dot uh, are different than cancels. So here here we uh, we consider a label of uh, three head. So if we we put x and y, then uh, this label of this tree head uh, is uh, x bracket of x commutator of x y bar and on the other hand uh, this label of this head is uh, inverse of commutator of x y bar so obviously these are must these are trivial element, trivial element so this, this observation uh, gave us uh, the proof of the, this assertion, which means uh, this move, okay? This is also trivial. So, so this, this, assertion, this observation uh, gave, give, give us, gives us 
the proof of this assertion. Okay. So now move four. So here, uh, these are uh, parallel double tree, but uh, the number of uh, dot on, on head part are different. Then uh, we can slide these heads along uh, double arrow. Okay, uh, this is called slide move. So here is first five move. So these are very similar to uh, those in theorem one. Uh, as I as I told as I explained before, so the big difference is these these moves may contain not only double arrow but also double tree, while theorem one moves in term one contain only double arrow, okay? So let me explain uh, the move five to nine. So five, move five is called head exchange move. So head exchange move uh, consists of three moves. So this move means uh, head, Head, head of uh, double tree, position of head of double tree can be exchanged by adding a new double tree whose head uh, is on the right hand side of them. So this move means uh, that we can change the position of uh, double, double tree heads by adding new uh, double tree with uh, with the head on the uh, on the left hand side, so here this move means so we can change the position of heads by adding new tree with head between of between of them. So and if if we would cons consider the label, I mean, so if you put label x and y. Then we have uh, this label of head. And we notice that uh, these are all the same as a group element. And, and this observation uh, give us a proof uh, that uh, these move preserve uh, equivalent class of uh, double tree presentation, okay? Now move six, move six called head tail exchange. More precisely, double tree head and double arrow tail exchange move. So it consists of two, two moves. So these moves uh, means uh, the position of uh, uh, double tree head and double arrow tail can be exchanged, can be exchanged by adding new Double tree, okay. The move seven is called anti-symmetry move, or uh, simply AS move. So AS move means a uh, cyclic order of uh, edges around uh, uh, trivalent vertices can be changed by adding dot like this. So. This assertion, assertion also can be uh, shown to see uh, the label. So if you put X and Y here, then we have uh, the label like this. And uh, so we also have a label of this here. And uh, we, we notice that these are the same, okay? So this, has, this, this observation give us uh, the proof of that uh, these move uh, preserve uh, equivalent class of uh, 
double tree presentation. Okay. Now, uh, move eight, it is called fork move because uh, this shape looks like fork. So this move means uh, if you have a triangle like this, then uh, the double tree can be canceled. So for example, here, if you add a label A, a at both sides, then uh, label of this uh, edge is A, commutator of AA or commutator A bar. Both of them are equal to one, uh, which means, uh, so consider the uh, label of head, then it contains uh, one in the commutator of in in the I mean in the label of commutators, which means which means this is uh, trivial. Yeah. So this is uh, kind of uh, this is very similar to uh, Brunian property of uh, WK tree, WK double uh, double tree surgery. Okay. Anyway, so this is a uh, fork move. Now, uh, move nine. Uh, move nine means uh, the head of double tree can, can jump over local diagram. Okay, this is uh, move nine. So that's all. Uh, here is a summary, moves five to nine. Okay. So now by using example, we will explain how to apply uh, some, of, some of moves in theorem. So we already know, uh, seen that uh, this diagram has uh, this arrow presentation. So now uh, apply head and tail exchange here. So this is, this head is, Head, head, the position can be can be changed by adding new uh, double tree. Now uh, we can apply uh, tail exchange freely. Then we have this uh, double tree presentation. So so far we have this. Then uh, apply head exchange here. So the position can be changed like this by adding new double tree, okay? Now here is a, uh, we can apply isolated move. This is, uh, this move contained in theorem one. So anyway, so we can delete this isolated uh, double arrow. Then uh, finally we get this arrow presentation. So theorem one and two imply that uh, surgery along this uh, double tree is equivalent to this diagram by uh, as a welded object, okay? So moreover, we can assume that uh, this one is connect to some of uh, this, these two, two uh, arrow presentation, okay? So each of, uh, comp each of them uh, have fork here. So then uh, this one, this double uh, tree can be deleted. So which means this, this, this is a connect sum of trivial nodes, okay? So here is a uh, remark. Uh, Tore hall is uh, equi equivalent to connect sum of trivial nodes as a welded object. And more generally, uh, we can show that uh, two bridge nodes is equal to connect sum of trivial nodes uh, as a 
as verdict object. Okay. I, I, I hope uh, somebody will have, would have interest in this remark anyway. So now uh, we will define WK equivalence, uh, which is weird version of Havilos CK equivalence. So let D and D prime be uh, string link diagrams or link diagrams. Uh, they are uh, WK equivalent. Uh, denoted it by children k, if there is a, a sequence of diagrams and each step uh, realized by uh, equivalence uh, of as a worded object or surgery along W3 of degree k, uh, sorry, at least k. Here we remark that uh, this uh, condition uh, isn't equal, okay? So here is proposition three. So by this condition, so this first part is obvious. So WK plus one equivalent implies WK equivalence. Okay, this is just by definition, thanks to this condition. Okay. Now second assertion is that uh, two, two uh, diagrams, uh, if two di diagrams are WK equivalent, then for any finite type invariant of degree uh, at least at most k minus one, uh, the value of invariant are same. This is thanks, thanks, thanks to uh, Brunian property. Okay. So now uh, here is remark. Uh, W1 equivalence is uh, W1 move is uh, essentially same as uh, uh, virtualization like this. Then, so we we have we will have that oh, uh, any where did link. Uh, up to uh, W1 equivalence is trivial link. Okay. So W1 classification of weird links are trivial. So now uh, let, us let, let us consider W2 move. Uh, this by, by, uh, by using the theorem two, so W2 equivalence can be realized by, realized, can be realized uh, head exchange and head tail exchange, okay? And uh, since uh, OC move uh, is same as uh, tail exchange, so we can use tail exchange freely. And also we can use uh, inverse move freely. So up to C2, uh, sorry, up to W2 move, we can use, we can use G's uh, move. So this implies that uh, uh, the W2 equivalence class of welded links uh, forms free abelian group under band sum generate and generated by uh, this shape of uh, arrow presentation. So uh, this, this is classification of uh, W2 equivalence. Uh, so, Sorry, uh, this is classification where it links up to W2 equivalence. And uh, we remark that uh, uh, head exchange is uh, essentially the same as UC move. UC is ho under uh, crossing commute move, which is Hobbit move. So, and in fact, the classification, uh, where it link classification up to uh, UC move is equivalent to uh, this classification. Okay, uh, by theorem two, we have uh, this proposition. Uh, for classical object, uh, CK equivalence implies uh, WK equivalence for any natural number K, where CK equivalence is uh, habi uh, habi uh, defined by uh, Habiro. 
and we also have proportion five. So uh, where did string link uh, class, sorry, uh, where, where, uh, sorry, WK equivalent class of where to string links, uh, finitely generated group, okay? So this class forms a group. And we also have these three moves by using theorem two. So let me explain uh, each move. Uh, first one is called twist move. So for WK, uh, WK3, uh, we can uh, change the position of dot up to WK plus one move. So here is uh, called head tail exchange. So we remark that this head and this tail are both uh, WK3, that's a W3, okay? In, so in set theorem uh, two, so uh, we, we can, uh, uh, this part is W3, w but uh, this, this is uh, only double arrow. So this is uh, general, generalized uh, head and tail exchange. Yeah, but up to K plus L plus one equivalence. Okay, anyway, so uh, for uh, tail head and ta position of tail head and tail, uh, sorry, position of, of uh, head and position of tail can be exchanged by adding uh, WK plus L uh, three up to uh, WK plus L plus one move. Okay. Anyway, this is head tail exchange move. So, so move three is called IHX move. Uh, here is uh, I shape part of WK uh, three. Then we have something like X shape and H shape of WK move, WK uh, three up to K plus one equivalence. Okay. Then so then then we we have theorem seven. So any W uh, any welded not uh, WK given to trivia for any natural number K, then uh, WK equivalence preserved finite type invariant, which means uh, there, are, there are no finite type welded not invariant. So here we remark that uh, Barnett and, and Dansko show that uh, there are no non-trivial, uh, oh, here, oh, of course, non-trivial, non-trivial finite type invariant uh, not exist. So, Barnard and Dansko show that non uh, there is no non-trivial Q value finite type invariant where, for where did not uh, exist. Okay. So, uh, here, just for Q value, so this is any value, okay? This assertion is uh, stronger than this assertion, okay? Now, theorem eight. Uh, so for string not case, so the, uh, we have uh, uh, this result. So, uh, let k and k prime, oh, sorry, I forget the prime here. Let k and k prime be a very not, very string not, then uh, from one to three are equivalence. So first uh, assertion is k and k prime are uh, wk equivalent. The second one is uh, any finite type invariant of degree at, at most or k minus one, uh, the value of invariant uh, uh, they of them are equal. And the third, uh, third one is uh, 
okay, okay. The value of, oh, sorry, yes. Let alpha, alpha L is a question of uh, t minus one uh, to power L in the Taylor expansion of the non normalized Alexander polynomial. Then the value of alpha L of k and k prime are same for any L. Uh, L is at most k minus one. Where uh, alpha L is uh, defined, introduced by Habiro Kanenob Shima. Okay. So actually, so this is, uh, this means uh, WK uh, classification of weight string link. Uh, can be uh, given can given by uh, uh, finite type invariant and also uh, this invariant. Okay, so this is a classification result of uh, weight string link. Not sorry, weight string not up to WK equivalence. Now, uh, the, uh, the, this theorem uh, give us the following corollary. For any k, k is at most or at least k3, then uh, wk equivalence class of weight string nodes forms free abelian group of rank k minus two. Okay. And here for k, when k equal one or two, this group is trivial. And moreover, uh, we have uh, a pre uh, representative of WK equivalence classes of weight string knot. So for, for any K, K is at the most at least three and uh, K is uh, where did any for any K, uh, where it string knot K. So K is uh, WK given to this shape. So uh, look at this. So this is a uh, diagram obtained from trivial not storing not surgery along this uh, tree. And this, this one is surgery uh, uh, along this tree, surgery along this tree. So here, so uh, this diagram inverse means so uh, surgery, uh, surgery along this type of uh, tree. So see the difference is a uh, uh, number of dot or around the head. Okay. Anyway, so this is definition is uh, this inverse of this diagram. And what is uh, uh, sub index? So XI is, uh, anyway, define, <laughs> anyway, so this is important thing is XI is uh, determined by alpha, invariant alpha. This is uh, derived from normalized uh, Alexander polynomial. Okay. So anyway, so uh, what do I, I want to say that uh, this gives representative of uh, WK equivalence class of uh, where it's string not. Okay. Now we conclude with an advertisement of our calculus. So recently I had I had that uh, classification for where string link up to uh, WK equivalence and concordance uh, given by Boris Kolombari, who is a graduate student of uh, Benjamin Odo. And also, uh, well, uh, sorry, classification up to self WK equivalence and concordance uh, given by Benjamin Odo, Jean Baptiste Mayon, and by myself. Here, uh, self WK equivalence is an equivalence relation uh, defined by uh, WK surgery, uh, whose uh, Arrowhead and uh, whose head and tails uh, con 
contained in a single component of, of a diagram. And honestly, uh, this work is incomplete. I mean, still in, in progress. Uh, that's why I, I wrote future here. So, and uh, I hope we will we'll, uh, show this result very soon. And I, I, we remarked that both classifications are given by uh, Milner type invariant, which means uh, Milner type invariants can be characterized um, both, both these equivalence relations. I think it is quite interesting. And uh, we stress that uh, in the proof of both results, our arrow calculus uh, played very important role. So I, I, I think uh, arrow calculus is very useful to study uh, where the object, and I hope uh, somebody uh, would think our calculus is very useful. Okay, uh, that's all. Thanks.